Hi all, welcome to my new series where I am going to build a small project using LWC. So as we had talked in the previous video, we are going to go with user story one as this is our first day to complete this uh, record edit form, right? So our basic goal is to build a standard lightning kind of UI using LWC. And as per as our user story one, what we are going to do is we are going to build a sim sample or simple record edit form where user will be able to create a records and also keep a note of this that the field visible inside the record edit form so whatever the fields that will be inside my record edit form it will be manageable by admin as well so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use field sets so that admin or anyone can go and just add or remove the fields as per as the need this is what the requirement is right every time customer is not going to come to you to make or to add more fields right so that's what we are going to do in this video but before getting started if you like my videos i request you to please subscribe to this channel so let's move on so right now i have an account uh, page right so i'm going to go ahead and create a new component let's name it as uh, lightning component and let's say reusable record edit <coughs> form and oh i am creating lightning same channel reusable record edit form so this is what we are going to create it's going to be exposed and also i'm going to add it to all, everything And I'm going to deploy it. Okay. So our basic reusable record edit form is available. Now in this, what we are going to do is we are going to show whatever we need. Uh, that lightning record edit form we are going to build, but the fields that are going to come inside this are going to come from the uh, field sets, right? So first I have to show the contact, right? I have to do everything. Every the whole project is going to be built over contact object. So that's why I'm going to go to contact and I'm going to quickly create a field set. <coughs> okay, I have one field set, but I'm just going to create one more field set. Or else, let's say I'm going to use the same field set. No need to create one more. I have a field set named as test field set. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and i'm going to write a wire template right so first of all i need to uh, get this field set right first of all i need to get the field set so for that purpose i am going to first go and write an apex class <coughs> mm, let's name it at reusable record edit controller so class is created now in this particular apex class i have previously written if you go to my previous video i have already written this kind of method so what i did was basically i have created a field set method which is going to uh, get the describe of that particular object name that i'm going to pass as a parameter and then it's going to get it and then from that it's going to get the particular field sets like based on the particular field set that I'm going to pass it it is going to start getting the field set and after that from, from that field set I'm going to get the fields specifically we are going to get the fields so I'm just going to copy paste this method and paste it over here <coughs> after this I have to import this particular let's name it as get field sets from at the rate salesforce slash apex slash the name of our method is get field set from the record edit controller we're going to get the particular field set now once that is done i want to get this like for an example whenever a user is going to click on a button right 
what's what's my basic goal is i'm going to add a button over here somewhere i'm going to there is already a button but this is a standard one i'm going to add one more button as soon as user is going to click on it <coughs> automatically all the the recorded form will be loaded and all the fields within the field sets will be visible to us so that's what the goal is right so basically when a user is going to click on the new button i want to show the details right so this means whenever the component will be reloaded that's where i want to bring the fields and show it inside the field sets so to do that i'm going to use wire with param because i'm going to pass two params so i'm going to pass uh, as you can see this apex class takes two parameter one of them is object name for which object do you want to get the data and next is the field set name from which object which field sets do you want to get so that's what we are going to get so our uh, apex method that is referring to that particular method actually uh, apex method is get field set this is a lwc method so i'm going to call this lwc method and i'm going to pass the parameters so our parameters are object name let's name it as contact comma <coughs> next is field set name so in our case the field set name is test field set right so i have done it let's test it out whether i am getting the data or either i am getting the error mm -hmm. i have not imported wire i think so okay now it's done now what i am going to do is i am going to override the i am going to create a new custom button okay and i am going to add the lwc component over there so let's go to the button new action yeah so we have this a separate recorded form a reusable recorded form which is our recorded form and then let's name it as custom contact let's save it <coughs> and let's refresh it it's not available yet The button is not added to the piece loader what let's go to contact again i think so the button is not added to the page layout maybe Let's add this button to the layout once and then refresh it. Oh, I'm on account page, sorry. Mm, the button should have been on account actually
yeah now the button is visible to us so as soon as i'm going to click on it let's see what's going to happen do i get the data or do i get the error okay i am getting the data okay so i am basically getting the data itself right so now <laughs> let's go and uh, we have to add all those fields inside the ui as well so i am going to create contact fields variable and let's assign whatever data i am going to get from that i am going to assign that particular data to that uh, variable So let's assign JSON to parse data of data. That if you see, because inside the okay, I am able to get the data directly. So I don't need this data dot data. And once that is done, I'm going to use template for each. To show the things on the screen right so whatever variable that i've created earlier this is this contact fields i'm going to loop over that variable and then i'm going to add the items like for an example i'm going to create a for item <clears throat> or each s object i've created a variable and inside this i'm going to create a lightning input it should be actually lightning input field okay first we need a record edit form because we are going to build it on the top of right we have built the lightning record edit form Just take this over here and only one field should be available over here it will be contact the rest of the things I don't need so I just need this particular input field and I'm going to put it within the for each loop so I am going to use as objects field name it could be dot field field path Okay, the key ID for key ID would be missing, right? So for that purpose, I'm going to assign a div. let's now go and check whether on the click of the button the things are coming correctly or not
now the fields have started coming okay all these fields are coming from our field sets that i have created on contact object so i have this field sets and this is a contact object record so basically i am getting all the fields that are available on side my inside my field set that i have created on the contact object and i have overridden that particular uh, that uh I have I'm showing the particular record edit form on the account page using a button so what I'm doing is as soon as this button is going to click getting clicked what's going to happen is for the our form is going to load and as soon as the form is going to load wire is going to work and it's going to bring the contact and its field set once it has brought it's assigning that value to this variable named as contact fields right and once it is assigned I'm looping over them using the record edit form I'm looping over them each of, uh, one by one and then I'm assigning it to a lightning input field so that's the reason why you are able to see all the lightning input fields within the field set so in the next video we are going to, this is the final thing of the user story one in the next video what we're going to do is we are going to go over user story two and we are going to hide and show and assign the values uh, accordingly but if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to the channel